Hi, I'm Dave Reverend Astro, and welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about balance. Balancing the items on your scope so that if you're like me, you don't have a premium mount like a AP mount or a Mighty mount or any of those high-end mounts, but you have a kind of a pedestrian kind of mount like I do, like my EQ6R Pro, you know that balance is really a critical part of trying to achieve really good guiding. And I often struggle with balance because I have a rotator. So I have a Pegasus Astro Falcon rotator that I use in order to frame my targets. And often what ends up happening when I use my rotator is that my filter wheel is in, well, off balance kind of situation. As you can see here, it's coming at an angle here. It's not perfectly up and down. And so the weight here is a little bit more on this side of the scope on this side of the scope where you see there's really kind of like nothing there to offset that weight and so i was looking for some kind of a weighting system that could counterbalance if you will this filter wheel and the different positions that the filter wheel will find itself in because i often will find that this guy will be over here or this guy will be up here and it just throws the whole balance that i have achieved off kilter. So I've been looking around for some kind of a system to use and I came across one that I found on a Q-Tech website. I was looking for something else and I went onto the website and they had this ring based system that fits over the front of the camera. It kind of clamps on and it has a weight that comes off and you can adjust that weight so that way it counterbalances if the filter wheel. So it's produced by More Blue. I've never heard of them. It's something new and novel to me. But here's the ring. And this ring, and it comes off, it looks like it's well machined. It has felt on the inside here and this ring actually attaches to the front end of your camera. So here's my camera and this guy, I need to open it up some more, this guy fits on like so. And it just attaches there and then there's a weight that you put off on this end so that way it counteracts the weight of the filter wheel, if I can get it far enough away here, the weight of the filter wheel that's down here at this part. So this is like a counterweight system designed specifically to deal with uh, the weight imbalance that you get. So here's the weight itself. It's a pretty straightforward system here. It's basically a counterweight and it has an adjustment here that allows you to shift that weight as you need fit. And this right here just screws into the bottom of the um, counterweight here, uh, into the ring here. So this guy will just screw in like right here, like so. And I'll loosen this guy up so I can move it around like so. And then I'm just going to just tighten these so it clamps around. But there we go. I now have a counterweight, if you will. Going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Like I say, it fits on the end of the camera here, so it's not a big deal. There we go. 
and you can adjust this accordingly when I've got this thing on the scope and I want to do my balancing I can move this counterweight depending on I'm assuming that they probably did this depending on what kind of filter wheel that you had whether or not you got the five or the seven like I've got the big filter wheel here which is the seven position two inch filter wheel for the camera here and so but this I think will help with some of my balancing issues and tonight when I take my scope out I'm gonna run it tonight um, I will do a balancing and we'll see whether or not this thing works. Okay, well, tonight I'm going to check the balance using this little rig here that I've got set up. And I've got it pretty much to where as I think it's pretty well balanced here. And I'm so here's my camera and then here's the little extra weight that I picked up and again I'll put the link down below so that way you can link to it and uh, you can pick it up if you're interested in it but as you can see here I'm pretty well balanced she goes right pretty much to balance and then when I bring it over this side and this was where I was having problems was getting balance on both sides I'm a little heavy on this side here I can see that but in terms of this she seems to be pretty balanced in terms of the deck and that's really kind of what I was after is I wanted to be able to make sure that um, the offset of my filter wheel here was taken up by a weight up here so that way everything would be balanced and as you can see here um, my RA is a little off I'm going to have to go back here and rebalance my RA but that's okay because my deck my deck is great this little this little counterweight system here really seems to work so I think that this little weight device is it's worth it I'm able to balance on both sides and deck which is what my biggest issue has been and it should stay balanced regardless of what position the rotator ends up putting the camera because again the weight system that I bought is a counterbalance if you will to the filter wheel itself so that's pretty much it for this video again i just thought that this was a neat device and it helped me to achieve balance on both sides of the pier in my deck access which i had struggled with trying to get balance especially as the rotator moves the camera into the proper framing if you will it tended to throw my deck a little off balance and you know on these mounts on these what i would call probably a medium class mount the eq6r pro it generally tends to be somewhat sensitive to balance and so you want to make sure that you've got good balance so that way you end up with good guiding so if you like this video please go ahead and click the like button down below i'd greatly appreciate it, it lets me know that you found this content to be useful and until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.